Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're all doing well. I am on today with some happy mails. Yay! <laughs> so I've got two here to share with you. So the first one is from the lovely Pam, who's just Adlace on YouTube. So I will add her link down below. Um, so this is my birthday present from Pam. Thank you so much, Pam. I call her my perpetual um, gift giver. <laughs> so, um, and this one arrived dot on the day too. So she did very well with it. So thank you so much, Pam. Um, it has been sitting around for a few days. So usually I would hoe into my happy mails and that straight away, but my desk was full of projects and that, and I really wanted to show it on camera so that I could give Pam a shout out because she deserves it. Um, and yeah, I had projects that I had to get up on specific days and that, so I had to wait till I had a sort of a bit of a break to be able to open it. So I'm looking forward to this. And then I've got another happy mail that's been sitting around for a few weeks that I want to share with you as well. So we'll start with this one. So I noticed it was quite sort of bulky and Pam makes the most amazing lacy things. And I'm thinking, oh, I wonder if it's something lacy. And then I thought to myself, oh, I hope it's one of these things that I saw that she was going to make sometime. But... I thought, no, she wouldn't have had time to make those yet. So I'm thinking, is that one of her t covered tape measures? Or, But it's a bit bulky for that, so. <laughs> but then she did put a video up the other day of something that she sent to someone. And I purposely didn't watch it. Um, I tried to skip right past, but I did see a picture on there of something, and I think it is what I really wished it was. <laughs> <laughs> so let's crack it and have a look. So exciting. Thank you so much, Pam. You spoil me for my birthdays. Just don't want to break anything. She wraps them very well. So I just thought, oh, that is it's very light. Some more stuff and some more stuff. I think this is a card. Okay, I think that is it. So I will look at the card first. Pam makes the most amazing cards as well. Yeah. I think it's just a bit, just a bit little crinkled, so I'll straighten it out. Oh, that's gorgeous, and she knows I like purple. That's beautiful. All that bling, it must take forever to put all that bling on. Oh, thank you, Pam, that is gorgeous. Have to make a journal to put them on. I might, might have to make one just for my birthday cards from Pam. So we will open up this one next. So I'll be able to recycle this tissue paper on my project. got a drawer full of white tissue paper. I can't seem to throw it out, so I want to try doing some things with it in the future. Oh, awesome. Oh. <laughs> that is gorgeous. So Pam makes all these really cool things with lace. The last thing I saw her make were some bookends that she covered with lace and they look so much better afterwards. They were beautiful. And she does, I think she did a tutorial. I still have to watch that one on her YouTube as well. So do head on over and see all the awesome things she makes. She makes these little hangers and oftentimes she puts the little bit in there that you can put your um, perfumes and that on or oils so that they smell pretty, but they're just gorgeous to hang around the place. That one is beautiful. Again, lots of purple and green. Oh, <laughs> I think that is green. It's hard to tell under these lights, but it's purple and green. Oh, she listens to me. <laughs> so my favorite colors together are purple and green, so. So I already have, I think, three of these in here, but four will even it out nicely, so. And I think there's room where I've got the other ones, put these above and they will look awesome. So, 
I meant to be putting one in every room of the house, but yeah, I like having them in here so I can look at them all the time. And this must be one of her lace covered tape measures. Oh, yes, I did want one of these too. So handy. Look at that, that is amazing. Just love it. She's got such a good eye for placing all the laces, which is something I lack. And look, it's even got your trim around it. So you'd never know, looking at that, you'd never know that was tape measure. And it works. That is so cool. Now, is the button on the bottom or top? Oh, I think it's on the bottom. Just double check that. No, I did. Yes, it is. I think. Hang on. Oh, no, it is on the top. And you just press the bead. That is gorgeous. I love that. So that's going to be um, my craft room tape measure. Uh, my son has a bad habit of playing with these things and he broke my last one and I just bought a new like, builder's one. So that can stay out in the kitchen for measuring furniture and that. So if he fiddles with it, he can break that one and not this one. Isn't it gorgeous though? She's got probably one of her dyed doilies because she's dyed a whole heap of these little doilies as well. But yeah, just beautiful. I love them, Pam. My craft room is going to be so full of purple lacy things. And this. Oh, is it? Is it? It is. I think it is. Oh, look at her. <laughs> Just flick her hat back up a little bit. Get squashed. Oh, I can see it. So that's a veil, I think. I'm going to flick it up so I can see her head a bit. Look at that. That is tiny. Oh, I love it. And she did it green with the purple flowers. Oh, I love it. Now, this is my third one of these from Pam. I will just grab the other two to show you. I have a family of them now. <laughs> that is so cool. Oh, that's the best present ever. Okay, so this is Maud. Isn't she just amazing? Must dust her. Her hat's getting a bit dusty, I think. She's got lots of Pam's awesome hat pins stuck in her, so she's a pin cushion. But look at the detail. She is just beautiful. I love her. She's my craft room supervisor. She's nice and big. And then not long ago, Pam sent me this one, and this is Agnes. <laughs> she has some hat pins in her as well. They are just stunning. And then, yes, now I've got this teeny tiny little one. I can't believe how little they are. <laughs> I just love it. It's just beautiful, just perfect, perfect colours. And look at the bling. I love how she puts little bracelets and necklaces on them and that. That is so cool. <laughs> so I've got a family of them now. So thank you so much, Pam. I adore these. So if you're interested in a bear for yourself, you can go and check out Pam's channel. And um, she's done a few videos showing the ones that she's been making and that. If you leave her a comment on one of her videos, um, she can get back to you and let you know how to contact her if you're interested in purchasing one of her bears. Um, yeah, she'd probably you know, might even have some of her tape measures and I know she makes a lot of these as well. So you can always discuss with her if you're interested in anything like this because they're just beautiful. She just does the most amazing job with them. So Just Add Lace is her channel and the link will be down below. So thank you again, Pam. That's absolutely beautiful. All right, so my next happy mail. Where did I put it? Now, I've already opened and looked through and it's sort of in pieces. I do need to put it away. This is from the lovely Kylie at Kylie's Card Craft. There was a book that Kylie was collecting, a certain type of book, and I had one here, so I sent it off to her because I could do with one less book in this place. And she was very lovely and um, she sent me a beautiful happy mail back, which is here. 
So now Kylie, as I said, is Kylie's Card Craft, and I'll link that down below too. She does amazing tutorials um, on altered books and using your scrapbooking paper to make little folios and embellishments and that. So go and check her out. And she has just recently opened a Kofi, and she's got a few things in there one of which I have sitting here, which I'll show you afterwards. So if you're interested in that, go and check out her Kofi. So there's some of this broidery, which I absolutely love. This piece I might end up, I must tea dye a whole heap, but I did avocado dye some once and that turned out awesome as well. So I'll probably do something like that with this. So that is great, beautiful size and a pile of it as well. And she's given me some of her laces, which must have been hard for her because I know how much she loves her lace. <laughs> yeah, most of the time when I watch her videos, she says something about loving her lace, so. Yeah, she probably has more than me and that's pretty dangerous. So three beautiful laces here for me. So this wide white one, that'll be perfect for some spines. And we've got this narrow one, great for tags and that. That is cool, that's really different. And look, she's given me stacks and stacks of them. And this one, which is a nice sort of cream, a peachy cream color, that is really pretty. So thank you so much. I might leave them on this spool and put them in a drawer near me so I get using those. Something I need to do more is use my laces up. And then she gave me a whole lot of embellishments and that. So there are these awesome um, envelopes, which will definitely get reused. And she's chopped them with, oh yeah, that's right. I'd forgotten what was in here. Really, really cool. There's some labels. Lanchu Tea Company labels. They're really cool. And then some little cutouts. So they'll be fun to use. They'll be cool for the steampunk journals. And then some more little cutouts. These are quite neat. I like a challenge of finding little bits like this and figuring out something to do with them, so that'll be fun. And some cool card die cuts. These are nice as well, because I don't think I have any vintage card die dies here. So they'll be great to use. That looks like a nice, yeah, sports car. And these ones. They're really neat. some of these these are interesting nice and vintage style frames could even cut the backing out and put it over the top of a picture which i might do another one of the envelopes and there's a whole lot of ephemera die cut ephemera in here is that one stuck in there or is that the envelope there we go it's a nice vintage style They'll be fun to use as well. Nice and thick too. Yeah. And she's given me some wooden stamps. I love that too. Vintage style again. Clothes ringer. I <laughs> had to read it to remember what it was called. I remember getting my fingers stuck in one of those when I was young. And it hurt. That's a cool little stamp. Oh, and a little one pound, I think it is. That will be heaps fun to use as well. So thank you for those. It's good having really little ones too, um, if you want to do. Sometimes I like using the little ones on fabric and then making it into a tab for my journal pages. Then she gave me some of her vintage pages. Now I know she does book pages in her Kofi. So nice 
Tina on these, that beautiful. George and Margot. And we've got Robertson Crusoe. It's nice and old too. And then this looks like an antique page. The Romance of the Swag. Look, it's got all your age spots on it. That's beautiful. And then this. Thank you so much for sharing this with me. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this would look beautiful in some collages and as tag backgrounds. Although knowing me, I'll probably just hoard it for a while. But she does have packs of this in her Kofi. And this is from the Argus, the newspaper, the Argus, Saturday, July the 11th, 1896. So very old. I'm surprised it's in such good neck for the um, age of it. Just beautiful text and the colour on it is lovely. So thank you so much, you two lovely ladies. I very much appreciate all the goodies that you have gifted me. Um, yes, and I must get to thinking of names for, that's not her, this is, <laughs> how small can you get? That is so tiny. <laughs> Instead I've got more, more, do. I've got Agnes and then I've got this little cutie. So if you've got any ideas for names, you can put them down below and I'll, I'll have a think about it. She is just so special. So oh, she's so soft too, she's beautiful. So thank you very much, ladies. Take care of yourself, everyone. Be good, and I will see you again soon. Bye.